The announcement marks a comeback for Kenya Breweries Limited into the sport of rugby in Kenya, with part of the investment going into supporting the Kenya Rugby Union in all its activities, including the men's and women's national sevens and 15 teams. I like two things which I want to repeat. I think good governance of these funds will help us stay for a very long time. They'll help other corporates come on board. They'll help government come in a big time. So I urge all sports, and particularly rugby, let's make sure that we, are, we have good governance and we are, we are taking care of every shilling that any corporate gives you. Because that's how we are going to be sustainable and that's how we are going to be responsible to the youth who are looking upon us to grow this game. The deal comes at an opportune time for Kenyan rugby as the seventh team kicks off preparations for the Olympic qualifiers to be held later this year. You will agree with me that this has been the best seventh circuit locally for at least the last five years. And that's in no mean part to the great investment which uh, Kenya Breweries has made working with our partner clubs. And this is the sort of experience that people want to, to feel when they come to rugby because you have a whole choice of things to do with your Saturday afternoon. So why come to rugby? And I think the, the rugby and Natasca gospel has been uh, well received and uh, Kenyans are imbibing it and we look forward to, to further growth.